What is up, guys? We are over on World Flipper to take a look at the new banner that dropped into the game. It brought with us some Zombieland Saga units. So if you have been looking forward to this collab, you knew this was potentially coming to global. It's in the game. We did, in fact, get it. So I'm going to be covering these new units. I'm going to be covering the Mana Board 2 quality of life updates we got in separate videos. We've got a lot going on. We got a new event. There's a bunch of stuff that just flew into the game. We had an extremely dead week, and now it's just an overwhelming amount of stuff going on that I want to cover for you guys. So I'm just going to be spitting out videos like crazy welcome to the channel if this is your first video with me appreciate you all being here right away you can see these are all limited units and something that i do want to touch on is that we are getting this is the first zombie land saga banner we are going to be getting a follow-up part two zombie land saga banner which is the better one this banner has a good unit on it but the next zombie land saga banner is better overall so i just want to put that out there before you're you're pulling if you've already pulled this was something i wasn't sure if we were going to get so it is very cool to see that we did get it this is live currently in the game and the first unit in the game we can actually take a look here on the left on their post and we can actually take a look at it on the game itself we can see what their abilities do i mean these units they are limited they do get rerun in the future if we're following exactly how jp got these they are going to get rerun in the future that's something i want to point out so sakura in her base form is going to have the leader ability of fever activated 20 seconds 200 percent to power flip damage so right away if you guys are familiar with water water and fever right now are not like really that great i mean they do work but the summer marina unit that is water and fever as well but in just overall terms water fever is just not super amazing it's also going to throw 20 percent hp for water units you're gonna get 30 percent to fever gauge based on water units attack when this unit is a water unit three five times unit power flow six percent attack for the leader to a max of 30 and then ability two is every five times a unit power flips you're going to get eight percent to power flip damage to a max of 40 50 percent to debuff success rate against water unit enemies while she's in that main slot for her ability three when fever is activated for 20 seconds 280 percent to power flip damage so this unit right now is not too great but when we get to that future banner which is i want to i really want to stress this if we follow exactly how JP got their banners. The banner that makes this unit better is 33 banners away. This is counting if we get everything exactly how JP got. If I counted it correctly, it was 33, about 33 banners away. There's going to be a Zombieland Saga rerun before that. Again, following JP exactly which we have been pretty close, it's going to get a rerun before we even get that unit. So this is not a do or die situation. Could take a look at her skill, see how it works. It's just not that great. And if you've seen the anime, he gets hit by a truck and it literally does it in the skill. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm just for some reason, I didn't expect it to actually do that. So as she activates and then goes in, gets hit by a truck, it's great. It's great it's like a meme but it's actually useful later on in the future but we're gonna hop over to the second unit guys second one is the one i'm after for this banner you do have saki saki is a wind power flip unit and we can go down take a look at what she does this is the one i'm hoping to pull i'm gonna do my summons as well for you guys you are going to get increased power flip damage and you're going to speed up to all allies. So you're going to get increased speed, increased power flip damage. You are going to have 100% attack for wind units, 70% to power flip damage for the leader ability. And then for the ability one, skills activated by unit, 20 seconds additional attack condition to this unit, direct attack times two, total damage plus 20%. This unit is a wind unit. Every 10 times damage is taken by leader, 8% to power flip, max of 40, 4% to attack for leader, max of 20. When this unit is a main unit, every five times damage is taken by a leader, plus eight to combo. When this unit is a main unit, the combo count reaches 30 for three seconds, pierce, and for three seconds, levitate. And as you guys know, you power up these units. I'm reading it directly from the rate screen. So all of these percentages and abilities are going to improve as you level up their mana board. This unit in particular, this is a good unit and it is something that is still used, still recommended in JP today. If you go onto Wasuku, just take a look at Wind Power Flip on that website. You can see she's even still recommended right here in the main slot with units like, you know, you have your Desert Sonia. These are other limited units that come along the way. These units that we might not have all of them, but a lot of these are arriving before we get that water banner that makes Sakura good. So it's just, once again, I really do think Saki is the prime pull off this banner. If you can pull Saki, then 
think you're good to go. I'm hoping I can pull her. I really would like to not have to spark her, but we shall see how the summons go. And taking a look at Saki herself, we can see, you can see she has that A rating in being in that main slot. I just, if you guys can pull her, I would recommend trying to grab her because she is still helpful in the game today. And then the last unit of the banner, it is going to be the limited four star can back up and go down to Yagiri. Yagiri being a fire four star, limited fire four star. She is going to sacrifice HP, increase their skill gauge, increase skill damage. So she's sacrificing your allies HP, getting that bump in that skill gauge and you're getting that skill damage increase. Her ability one is going to be a skills activated by fire units. The first four times heal 8% of HP for that unit. And then every five times damage is taken by fire units, plus 6% to skill damage for that unit, 5% to HP for fire units. And then when she is in that main slot for her ability three, every five times damage is taken by fire unit, 6% to skill damage for that unit to a max of 36%. And then when this unit is a main unit, every 10 times a unit dashes 6% to attack for fire units to a max of 36%. And as you guys know, in the banners we just had, there was a four star fire unit that benefits from you taking damage, you getting hurt as a fire unit. That being Nasir, Nasir does benefit greatly off of skill damage, HP falls, you get increases, so kind of goes hand in hand. She is a good four star to pull. It is a just a three unit banner for new units. There are also all the other non-limited units on this banner, so it's not just the limited, it's not just the three, oh, that'd be insane but you do have the regular course of non-limited units here. And I'm hoping that I can grab Saki. Saki is the unit that I'm hoping to pull and one day pulling the Schultz in that main slot next to the leader. She is also very useful on the wind power flip teams with Schultz. So the despair of not pulling Schultz, if I pull her, I still can't pull the Schultz. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might sub ticks the Schultz, but we shall see exactly what happens there. Appreciate you guys being here. I hope your summons, your pulls go well on this new banner if you decide to pull. It is getting a rerun in the future. It is all limited units. These are all limited units on the rate up slots. You do have the wind Saki, in my opinion, being the best. You have Sakura, which is pretty not useful right now, but 33 banners later. Hey, I mean, she'll be useful then, but we are getting a rerun. If it follows JP, we will get a rerun in the future before that banner arrives that makes soccer good so i wanted to stress that once again but anyway good luck guys thank you for being here smack the sub button welcome to the channel i'll see you in the next one peace